Volcanoes in Latin America and Africa affect air travel near and far as quakes hit Indonesia. Late on Sunday, June the 12th, the Dubi volcano in the southern Red Sea region of Eritrea erupted for the first time since 1861, sending a huge plume of ash reaching up to 15 kilometers in altitude that disrupted air travel in East Africa. The eruption followed a series of earthquakes at the Eritrea-Ethiopia border region, the largest of which measured 5.7 on the Richter scale. As of Wednesday, June 15, officials report that the volcano has stopped spewing ash, but that many flights have been cancelled as airlines such as Germany-based Lufthansa, Kenya Airways, and Ethiopian Airways had temporarily stopped flying to Eritrea, Sudan, Djibouti, and Ethiopia. Meanwhile in Latin America, Argentine officials stated that northeastern Chuba was facing an agricultural emergency due to volcanic ash from the erupting Chilean volcano in the Piuhu Cordon Cali volcano complex. While rain removed potentially damaging ash and flights began to resume on Tuesday evening in Chile, Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay, the already mitigating ash continued to cause flight cancellations in New Zealand and Australia, with experts warning that the volcano shows no signs of stabilizing and that further eruptions are likely in the coming days. Elsewhere on Tuesday, northern Sumatra, Indonesia was struck by two tumblers of magnitude 5.3 and 5.6 respectively, centered approximately 38 kilometers northeast of Sibolga. The tremors could also be felt in Malaysia. These followed a powerful quake on Monday measuring 6.2 on the Richter scale that hit off eastern Sulawesi Island. Fortunately, there have been no casualties or major damage from any of these events thus far. Thank heaven for the protection of those in the affected areas. May such distressing conditions be curbed through our concerted focus on more eco-caring ways. Supreme Master Ching Hai wants to convey this message of gratitude to all governments, organizations, and relief workers from every corner of the world. Thank you, all the international and national help that brings care and necessities to afflicted victims. Thank you, all the relief workers, for taking time and forsaking your own comfort, even traveling great distance on unfavorable roads and conditions to bring love and assistance to people in time of need. May heaven bless you abundantly for your generosity and noble sacrifice.